I think it's my best work. It makes, some, it makes a statement that I really want to make that I think people need to hear. All prayer, it seems to me, comes from the same need, and that is to find harmony and balance in, the, in a world we did not create. I don't think we, sh we share the answers because the religions of humanity are, are exquisitely different, but I think we share the questions. What works for you is what works for you, and I think the, the key to the whole thing is finding common ground in the diversity that is, that is prayer and spirituality around the world. Nobody has been appointed the prayer police. You have a right to pray the way that works for you. What I wanted to do was provide a textbook for people and, and uh, for, pers for personal reflection and for group study. Each chapter of The Many Faces of Prayer ends with six questions to check your, whether you understood the material and then six questions for discussion and an activity, uh, uh, optional activity for, for, uh, for each chapter. And there's plenty of illustrations, there are plenty of practical things people can do. I also wanted to model theological thinking, which I think the, the book does, but I think it does it in a fun, engaging, uh, uh, entertaining way at the same time. The big idea about the many faces of prayer is in the title. Fair, prayer has many faces. There are many ways to do it. And, and no one of them is right or wrong. It is perfectly okay for, for someone to pray to a multitude of gods. It is perfectly okay for someone to offer incense you know, to a statue. It's perfectly okay to kneel before the Virgin Mary, or to face Mecca, or to, dip, or, or to look at the, at the Holy Ganges, or to spin a Buddhist prayer wheel. It's what works for you is what counts. I would say you come away from the book with a better understanding of who you are as a spiritual person but what, uh, and what kind of choices that you have made and how okay it is to be who you are spiritually. And it give, it'll give you some new ideas about what to do in your spiritual practices too.